So, how do you insert a YouTube video into Keynote? Let's get straight to it. So you have to go up here on the top menu where it says media, click on it. And down here where it says web video, click on that as well. And right now it asks us to insert a YouTube video URL, or you can also add Vimeo videos as well. So let's go ahead and get our YouTube URL. I already have a YouTube video of ours open here in Safari, or you can use any other browser that you prefer. And the easiest way is to just go here on the top address bar and you just make sure you copy this URL like this. Alternatively, if you want a little bit more control, you can actually go down here where it says share, click on it. And in this uh, little pop-up window, you have the URL here. You can just click the button to copy the link, super straightforward. And another cool option that you have is you can enable this button right here if you want to start the video at a later time. So let's say I want the video to start at 1 minute and 23 seconds and the URL already changed to add this as well. So now let's uh, copy this link and go back to Keynote. I'm going to right click and paste my URL. And now I will insert the video into Keynote. And it will act and uh, behave like any other element in Keynote. You can move it around, you can uh, grab it at the corners to resize and so on. Now, if you want to play the video while editing, obviously just click the play button. You'll have access to all the YouTube controls here. Now let's see how it looks if I play it in slideshow mode. By default, it will not play, so it only plays on click. So let's click a uh, spacebar. All right, but let's say, for example, you might want to have it autoplay. So in order to do that, make sure you have the video selected and you go here on the top right where it says format uh, under web video and here where it, where it says load on click. Right now it's enabled, so just click on that to disable it and let's see how it works. So I'm going to go into slideshow mode right now. All right, and the video started playing without me doing anything. So uh, when it comes to the thumbnail of the Keynote YouTube video, it will automatically use the same thumbnail that you can find on uh, YouTube. Unfortunately, there's no way for you to change this directly in Keynote. All right, so this is how you insert a YouTube video in Keynote, super straightforward. And if you'd like access to a professional library of stock GIF animations available at your fingertips that you can add to Keynote with drag and drop simplicity, make sure to visit videoplasty.com, which is the only website in the world where you can commercially license professionally animated stock GIFs. My name is Edward Stinger from videoplasty.com, and until next time, stay creative.